Well, so could you talk a little bit about, to viewers and listeners, about what you did, or what you are doing, what you did post-Katrina or around that time in terms of bringing us forward? I know there's so much history. We need to go back and forth. But you've well, done so much work. Well, when you look at... Uh at the work we did in the aftermath of Katrina. Mm -hmm. It was done because of uh, the formation of Common Ground Collective. The Common Ground Collective was founded by supporters and members of the Angola Three mm. Support Committee. Mm. So again, uh, you cannot, I cannot even begin to speak upon the work that uh, Common Ground did mm -hmm. without get paying homage to Herman Wallace, mm -hmm. the only deceased member of the Angola Three, and mm -hmm. to thank uh, uh, Albert Wood Fox and mm -hmm. uh, e Robert King, e you know, mm -hmm. uh, with the work that they did, because Common Ground was founded also in this house, you know, and then this house was also uh, founded the Angola Three Support Committee. Wow. So again, uh, it played a, a, a true history in it. Mm -hmm. uh, when, uh, when Katrina happened, nobody, mm -hmm. at least I can't say nobody, but I could say that I never thought I was naive. I couldn't believe uh, that in America, you know, 130 or 140,000 people could be abandoned. You know, uh, I was raised in Gretna. Mm. But because I didn't have a, a Gretna or Jefferson Parish ID, I was quarantined in Algiers. I could not go into Gretna. Mm -hmm. if, if the three of us was going in there, you would be able to go into mm -hmm. Gretna. Mm -hmm. and, and Leroy and I would have been forced back mm -hmm. here. Wow. Uh, wow. This community was a community that was known for vigilantes. Yeah, one of the vigilantes said that they killed 39 people. You know, uh, but it was a lot of people that was being killed by those vigilantes. I don't did time on death row. I don't did time in solitary confinement. I don't mm. did time, uh, I don't been in shootouts with the police. Mm -hmm. But nothing prepared me to the, how blatant racism uh, was in, or is in America mm -hmm. until then. Right. You know, I can understand why a cop would uh, take that knee. Mm -hmm. and, if, mm -hmm. uh, and if any uh, black that had any kind of manhood mm -hmm. they would find out what happened, they would have took the knee with them. Thank you. You yeah. know, because I seen uh, the injustice Yep. And I know that if we would have stood up as a people in the aftermath of Katrina, mm. it wouldn't have had a Black Lives mm. Matter a movement. Mm, it wouldn't have been a need for that. It wouldn't have been a Jenner. It wouldn't have been a Ferguson. Right. Mm. We could have ended it right here. That's right. But because we allow yeah. for whatever compensation some of us receive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we allow some of the blatantness, the, the most blatant racism that ever happened in this country. Yeah. That happened here and went unattested. That's right. You know, I mean, right now there's never been a, a, a member of the vigilantes that roamed these streets to be arrested for anything. <laughs> You, uh, you, you, most people forgot that Gretna 
closed their borders to blacks and wouldn't allow blacks into Gretna. You dig? And most people don't even want to hear about the uh, how uh, Bush knew that that the levy was being breached mm. and they didn't warn nobody. Mm -hmm. You know, nobody wanted to hear this. Right. But see now, now we are under a person that's worse than mm -hmm. Bush. Mm -hmm. You dig? We are on a person mm -hmm. that I would call Bush with steroids. Right. Mm -hmm. And we are still called ill prepared. Right. We are still in that same position. That's one of the reasons why you see all the tools and stuff that I have here. Because this is one of the things I'm teaching young brothers in this community is, uh, hey, we ain't going to never get caught again ill-prepared mm -hmm. to take care of ourselves in mm -hmm. the aftermath of a disaster. Mm -hmm. Now, we was blessed that uh, in farming common ground, uh, we had many whites that came down mm -hmm. that believed yeah. in justice. Yeah. That came down and took advantage of that white privilege mm -hmm. yeah. to uh, to save some of the African American communities. Mm -hmm. You dig? But uh, you know, I mean, uh, uh, listen, we served over half a million people in the four years that I was a part of uh, uh, Common Ground, That's and so. we never received no assistance mm -hmm. no. from the city, state, or federal government. Right so, now, we have been wiped out. Or the history of uh, of of of, uh, of of common ground or, or of Katrina. Mm. You think right. we have never uh, we have never been invited to anything. The city have never acknowledged that we even exist. You know, what? and uh, and it's only because of the fact that uh, I founded Common Ground as being a member of the Black Panther Party. Mm -hmm. You know, and the tactics that we use. And all in the aftermath of Katrina was the tactics that I learned as a member of the Black mm -hmm. Panther Party. That's right. Mm -hmm. So they they will not allow that to happen. That's right. Uh, you got to remember now, in the aftermath of Katrina, mm -hmm. this government took the one of the most despicable person to ever exist in our lifetime. And this is a person by the name of Brandon Darby, mm. you dig, mm. who was a paid informer and provocateur. Mm. They used him to destroy this organization. You know, mm. An organization that wasn't out to overthrow no government. Mm. Of course not. An organization that wasn't out to, to, to do nothing other than help people in the aftermath of the greatest disaster to hit the soil of this country and in the, in the, in over the, this country's history. That's right. That's all we was trying to do. Yeah. And they put a despicable person like him in it to destroy that organization. Mm. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm fighting to save my house.